Hello, thanks for buying the uh, RGB matrix flag display. Um, there's just a few things you need to get it up and running. First of all, is there's a few links in the description. First link is for the driver, which is going to take you to this website. So you just download the driver, run that, install it. Only takes a few seconds. There we go. Now you can uh, plug your device in with a USB mini cable, which is not supplied with the product because uh, all different lengths to suit different setups. Uh, the second link in the description is to download SimHub software, so that's simhubdash.com. Just go uh, download and install that. Uh, and then when you launch it, it should come up and detect your device. So you go to the Arduino tab on the left and then under my hardware up the top you should see the Philfest RGB matrix displayed and it will say down here COM port 10 and how many frames a second it's running. The free version of SimHub runs at 15 frames a second and if you pay a couple of pounds it unlocks higher refresh rates. Now to program it, uh, if you go to the RGB matrix tab at the top and all you need to do is add an effect. There's a lot of uh, already created ones here, so just for the basics, flags, you create that and you want it to display all the flags. Um, to test it out, click open test data editor, uh, tick the game running box scroll down to flags and we can put on a blue flag and you should see your device lighting up with this preview here and you can adjust the brightness with this slide bar here so cycle through all the flags check they all work now if you want to do any uh, custom bits there's another link in the description to download a profile that I've configured so you just download that file and then back in your sim hub we go to sorry we go to profiles manager and import profile and then you import that profile you've just downloaded and load that so there's different things in here um, so it's just a little red dots that tick along the top when the game is not active just so you know that the uh, device is plugged in and working This is the flags and also the spotter overlay, so it will uh, light up at the sides when a car is alongside you. Uh, where's the spotter? I tell you what, it's not doing it because I've got the gear display on. The spotter overlay. There we go, so it's flashing when there's a car on the left or when there's a car on the right. Uh, you can enable or disable any of these effects with these little um, sliders here. So, flags on. Uh, I've got a, an, a one animation for when the car is in the pit lane. So, when the car is in the pits, it's doing that, telling you you're in the pits, but your pit limiter is not on. And when you put your limiter on, I've got it switched into that. These are all fully customizable. There, you can draw the animations per pixel. And you can also um, have it as a gear indicator if you're playing a rally game or whatever. There's the gears. There you go. So there's the gears going through. You can change different um, layouts of the numbers and all that. So that is everything. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, please leave some feedback if you liked it. And uh, thank you very much.